I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the new Shape Builder tool in Illustrator CS5 and later to build complex shapes from simple ones in Illustrator. Before we start with this project let's have a look and see what it is that we're going to achieve. I'm going to show you how you can use the Shape Builder tools in Illustrator to assemble shapes without needing to go and use the Pathfinder. And while we're going to start by just having a look at the Shape Builder tool in general, we're going to finish off by creating an image just like this. To see how you would use the Shape Builder tool to create shapes in Illustrator, I'm going to start with a couple of simple shapes. We'll start with a rounded rectangle here. I'm just going to draw out a rounded rectangle and let's fill it with a red colour. And now let's go and get a star. I'm just going to drag out my star and position it over this rounded rectangle. And I'm going to fill it with a different colour. Now the Shape Builder tool is here in the toolbar and it's in CS5 and later. And what it does is it allows you to combine shapes and extract elements from combined shapes in Illustrator a lot more easily than you would do using the Paths palette. To get started with it we're going to first select all the shapes that we want to work with which are just these two shapes but it could be a lot more. And then I'm going to use or target the Shape Builder tool. Now I'm just going to disable something in mine because I want to show that to you in just a minute but I don't want to confuse it with colours at the same time but just know that we can colour our shapes at the same time using the Shape Builder. So with my two shapes selected and my Shape Builder tool targeted, as I hold my mouse pointer over the shapes you can see that we're seeing things happening. The two shapes are being identified as being three possible separate paths. This piece here, the overlapping piece and this piece here. Now we could assemble all of these together into a single shape and we would do that by just dragging within the shapes to mark out the ones that we want to have assembled. Well I want my star as a single shape and then I want to bring these two shapes together and they're being created as a single shape and the stroke and fill for this shape are being dictated by the currently selected fill and stroke colours. Let's just wind this back. Let's say that instead of a single shape what we wanted was this shape and this shape but not the overlapping shape. Well we can get that too by holding the Alt or Option key. The plus symbol by this cursor here turns into a minus. So we can target the areas or areas that we want to remove. I'm going to remove this one. And now when we have a look at our shape we'll see that it's made up of two distinct pieces because the piece that we isolated as being we wanted to remove it has now been removed. So you can see that you get quite a lot of power with this Shape Builder tool for building objects without needing to go to the Pathfinder panel. Let's go back and have a look at a couple more shapes. I'm just going to do a circle this time and a rounded rectangle over the top of it and let's add a star as well just so that we've got just a little bit more action taking place. So we've got some really overlapping shapes here and let's just colour them differently so it makes it clear what we're working with. Let's make this a sort of orange. Again I'm going to select over the shape so everything is selected and instead of just targeting the Shape Builder tool, what I'm going to do is go ahead and double click it to open up this panel. Now you can see here that we could pick a colour from the colour swatches and we could have a cursor swatch preview. Well let's see what that does. Well the Shape Builder tool still works as it did previously and you can see any of these items here, these uh, paths could be selected to be either joined together or removed if we hold the Alt or Option key. But we also get this little preview, this little colour swatch preview. If I use my arrow keys I can arrow through the preview. I'm using my up arrow key to go in one direction through the colour swatches. You can see here that I'm moving through the swatch this way. 
if I use my left and right arrow keys, I can also move through the swatches in the other direction. Now what I can do is once I get into these swatches and I start selecting a color, if I just click on this shape here, it's going to be colored with the color that I have selected. So now I have green selected and now I have a pale blue. If I click here, this will be made pale blue. So we've got this sort of live paint effect happening within our shape builder. But of course the shape builder still works as it did previously and we can join shapes together and we can also color them at the same time by allocating a color. It's the middle color in the palette here and just clicking and this combined shape is now given the color that I asked for it to be given. And of course I can remove shapes as well. And let's remove this one here. And now let's go back to our Move tool and see that we have all these little pieces of our shapes. We've been able to use the Shape Builder to break the shape up into different shapes, to combine it and also to colour it. So let's see now how we create our little aeroplane using the Shape Builder tool. To create my small aeroplane, I'm going to start with the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to add a blue filled rectangle in because this is going to be the background for my image. Now when I'm doing something like this, what I'll generally do is lock this. Well, I don't want to lock the layer, but I do want to lock this path so that it won't move so that when I draw objects on top of it, I'm not going to have them in the way. I'm going to target this white color and now I can grab some ellipse, the ellipse tool and create my clouds. I'm going to do this with four circles. I'm going to make a large filled circle, a slightly smaller one, another slightly smaller one and one very small one. I'm going to target the move tool and just move them into position in relation to each other to create my cloud shape. And now what I want to do is flatten the base of my cloud and I'll do that using a rounded rectangle. I'm just going to create this as the shape that I want for the base of my cloud. And once I've got that in place, I can go ahead and use the Shape Builder tool. It just might be a little easier if I put this big rounded rectangle at the back. So I'm going to just drag it down so that it is at the back of the other shapes. Well, they're a little difficult to see, but let's see how we go. Firstly, I'm going to select over all of them and then I'm going to target the Shape Builder tool. In this case, I don't want the color swatch at the moment, so I can just turn that off. Now what I do want though is I want to join some of these shapes together. I want to join those two and these two and this, this and all of these and I want these two as well. So there's my cloud shape and the bit that I don't want is these pieces around the outside. So I'm just going to hold Alt as I click on the pieces that I don't want and they're now removed. And here is my single cloud shape. So I can now move it into position and I can Alt drag on it to create a duplicate because I want a second cloud for my illustration. Let's just hold the Shift key to make that one a little bit smaller. So now I've taken care of my clouds. It looks like I've got a little bit of extra path hanging around there. I'm going to draw my aeroplane and I'm going to do this starting off with an ellipse. So let's just draw the ellipse for the aeroplane and in this case I'm going to draw it with a sort of orange fill and a red stroke. So let's just target the stroke here and let's give it a sort of reddish stroke. But I want to cut the bottom of it off too, so I think this time I'll use a rounded rectangle. I didn't last time, but I think it's going to give me a nicer shape to my aircraft here. So here's my rounded rectangle. Again, I'm going to target the selection tool, select over both of these shapes, go to my shape builder and then work out the pieces that I do and don't want. I don't want this one and I don't want this one, but there's the basis for my aeroplane. Now I need some wings and for my wings I'm going to use an ellipse. 
it's going to have the same features as the original ellipse but this time let's target the move tool and let's just rotate it a little bit because I want my wings to come off at an angle but I also need to cut them off because they need to be flush again probably use the rounded rectangle that might give me a nicer sort of wing shape I'm thinking let's just undo that and let's rotate this too have it at about the same rotation as the wing itself and that'll give me a slightly flatter top to my wing now I'll go and get the two shapes just select over both of them and again back with the shape builder tool determine the pieces that I don't want well I want these two no I really just want this piece so I'm just going to click on the ones that I don't want and again with the move tool I can now resize that a little bit if I want it to be a little bit bigger so there's one of my wings now my second wing is just exactly the same as the first wing but it is just going to be rotated around and then just placed in position but it needs to be moved behind the rest of the aircraft so I'm just going to go and find it here in the paths palette and just move it behind the body now for my pilot's window I'm going to use the rounded rectangle and again draw this in because this area in here is going to be my pilot's window again I'm going to target both shapes select them go to my shape builder tool and this is the piece I don't want but now I've got my window if I want to fill it with a different color such as white I can do so it's well let's just make sure we've got it selected and fill it with white now for the tail of my plane again I'm going to use an ellipse so it's going to be well that was not an ellipse Let's go and actually select the ellipse tool and create an ellipse that I want to join to the plane body I'm just going to use the move tool to move it into position here and then let's join it again using the shape builder select the main body of the aircraft and the piece I want for the tail shape builder we want to join these two so I'm just going to drag in to join the shapes and they're now joined the rest of the aircraft can be built up very easily well first of all I'm going to have to bring my wing forward in front of my body though I was using a couple of little filled circles for the windows so let's just go and create a filled circle out here where I can see it I want it to have a white border around it and now let's just move it into position and will alt drag on it to create a couple of windows well maybe this plane will have three windows now all of these shapes can be distributed using the distribution tools here I can use the vertically aligned center to make sure that they're all nicely aligned and to distribute them I'm going to click horizontal distribute center and that just arranges them so they're all neatly in a line and now a star for the tail it's going to click on the star and I'm going to be drawing a five pointed star I'm just going to rotate it so it's in the position I want it to be if I hold the alt key I'll get this really true star shape so there's my star and let's just drag it into position maybe shrink it down just a little bit if you have a complex shape to build you'll probably find that the new shape builder tool makes life just a little bit easier I'm Helen Bradley thank you for joining me for this YouTube video look out for more of my video tutorials here on this YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and you'll be advised when new videos are released and visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.